The police have noted the ongoing campaign and public mobilization on social media towards participating into the unwarranted anti-corruption walk to parliament. The organizers of this demonstration have not informed police for clearance and the public is bared to participate. Uh, we are saying that given the lack of transparency and potential for disorder, we strongly warn against proceedings, proceeding with this much, and the Uganda Police Force is issuing a clear warning against attempts to incite violence or breach of public order through what we have observed as uncontrolled demonstrations. In a preventive measure, to avoid what transpired in Kenya, police commit not to hesitate in identifying plotters of violent activities. The right to a peaceful protest will be respected, but police will not tolerate attempts to incite public disorder. We urge persons who wish to exercise their rights, such as the right to assembly and to demonstrate, to always work collaboratively with us to ensure that they don't aid persons of ulterior motives to hijack their expressions to accomplish criminal intentions. On the National Unity Platform Countrywide Mobilization Tours, police reiterates on the agreed position on how these political activities should be conducted. There might arise situations here and there where there are disagreements on how business should be conducted, but we are very hopeful that they are resolvable issues. They are manageable contradictions. And uh, at any one time when uh, the leadership of NUP fails, it's getting challenges. We appeal them to get back to us. We see how to resolve them. Regional police commanders are instructed to cooperate with NUP officials and minimize eruption of violence, which might antagonize businesses in those areas. But the general guidance we have given to our police officers and security generally is that they should, as much as they can, liars with the NUP to ensure that on one side, NUP is allowed to conduct its political business, whereas on the other side, they, they ensure that there is no breach of peace and compromise on traffic regulations. Meanwhile, police have called upon the public to be vigilant against child theft. Over the last week, police have registered two cases of child sacrifice and one case of child kidnap. Komagum Rogers and Kemigisha Theopista for UBC.